Hi everyone, and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna introduce you to the latest addition to the past PHP family, Stressless. And Stressless is a stress testing tool for past PHP. If you don't know what stress test is, it's pretty much this testing technique that allows you to test your application under heavy load, uh, kind of to make to try to make you understand if your application is ready for Black Friday or if it's ready to handle, for example, 50 concurrent requests. So let me show you an example. I'm going to move here into my uh, terminal and I'm going to start by a simple example of testing, for example, a real world application. So I'm going to type vendor bin passed, pass the command stress and then a real domain. I'm going to type enter and once I do that, I immediately see a verbose output here on the console and finally my test result. By default the test duration is about 5 seconds and the concurrency used will be 1. And I can see that using these options I was able to handle 32 requests per 5 seconds or 6 requests per second and the success rate is 100. So this is kind of one of the most important metrics on this report is that you want to ensure that even though sometimes you are really putting uh, your website under extreme conditions, the users are always able to get a response. Okay. Then we have the DNS lookup in the TLS and shake. You want these values to be close to zero milliseconds. Otherwise, it might mean that you are not using Google as DNS provider. And then we have the request duration, which is probably also one of the most important metrics of this report. I can see that using this network, uh, I'm able to do or to have 140 uh, milliseconds of request duration. And this metric right here is split between three, the upload of the request, the time to first terabyte. And this includes like everything from the point you reach your server, including the server processing time. And then you have the download of the response. Typically, if you have a bigger number here or something a little bit bigger than this value right here, it means that you are downloading too much information. Okay, so let's see some real cool stuff here about this plugin. I'm going to clear my terminal and I have this app demo, which I'm going to uh, launch the command PHP artisan serve off Laravel. I don't know if you are familiar with this particular um, serve command, but what it does, it's kind of spawns a local server, but you have a limitation, which is a single threaded, meaning that it can handle only one request each time. So I'm going to stress test this local domain locally. So I'm going to just go here and type vendor bin passed. And instead of testing the passphp.com, I'm going to stress this particular local domain. So what I do expect is that thanks to the fact that we are testing something locally, um, we don't have, we don't spend any kind of time with the network. So I was able to see that using one concurrent requests, I was able to get 90 requests per second, a total of 450 requests during the time span of five seconds. I was also able to have a success rate of 100, but also the request duration was about 10 milliseconds in average. So as I was telling you, this is single threaded. So if I come here, clear my terminal and run the same test, but this time with a concurrency of two, meaning that two requests will be sent each time, I expect the request duration average to double to 20 milliseconds. And this is exactly what's happening here. You can see that the request duration just doubled to 20 milliseconds because throughput will be the same, 90 requests per second. So that won't change. We can just basically keep incre increasing the concurrency and the only thing increasing will be the request duration. So it went from 10 to 20 milliseconds with two concurrency and now we have 40 milliseconds with four concurrency because the throughput will not be bigger than 90 requests per second. So this really shows us the limitation of the PHP artisan serve command and you probably are eating a limit on this type of server. Now what I can do here is just clear my terminal here and instead of using the PHP artisan serve command, I'm going to use the octane uh, server. Okay, so I'm going to type octane start and then what I'm going to do now is clear my terminal and run uh, this stress test, but against Octane. So let's just run it with the concurrency of one to see what type of results we have. The first result I can already see is that we are getting close or even three milliseconds of average response 
uh, duration time. And that's incre that's super fast, by the way, okay? These are insane results uh, using Laravel. And throughput was about 240 requests per second, which is very fast. But the most surprising thing here is that if I increase the concurrency to something like two, you will see that the request duration won't change. So it stays three milliseconds, as you can see. So this is a very important thing to understand is that the throughput just doubled from 250 to 500 requests per second and the request duration stayed as stayed as 3 milliseconds. So Octane is very good kind of using all the CPUs I have on my machine. Uh, it's kind of spawns a worker for each, uh, each CPU I have. So I can go up to uh, 8 concurrency and I will not see the... Um, I will not see the request duration changing too much. As you can see, we are still about three milliseconds per uh, three uh, milliseconds of request duration, which is insanely good. And the throughput just went to 1,100 requests per second. So as you can see, you can really tweak your server settings, potentially using something like PHP FPM to handle some kind of heavy load. Here, of course, we have used one or two in eight concurrent requests, but you can go and use something like 50 concurrent requests or even 100 and see how your server behaves. Now, besides the possibility of running a stress test locally, we have also combined the power of the expectation API with this stress test plugin, so you can ensure over time your application doesn't get slower and it's still able to handle the same amount of traffic. Let me show you. Here I have just my regular Sublime text and my terminal, and this is just a fresh Laravel application. And I have on this feature folder, I have created this stress test.php and I'm gonna just create a test function with the name test landing page. Within the function body, I'm gonna place uh, something that looks like this, result equals to the result of stress, my local uh, domain. And then we can perform some assert expectations on the given result. Just keep in mind that you also need to import this stress function, and we are going to do that by importing it from the stressless plugin. So once you have the result, you can start making expectations on it. And again, something you want to ensure is that the success rate is about 100%. So we can type something like this, expect result requests the failed count to be zero, okay? So let's just, let, just, let's just launch this to see the result. I'm gonna type vendor bin past. And now this is just a regular test suite. I'm running this test and behind the scenes past is running this stress test and ensuring that indeed the request failure count was zero. You probably want to see like the verbose output we had uh, with the command, but now on the test suite, so something you can do temporarily is just type dump or chain dump at the end of the stress function. And when you do that, you will pretty much uh, make the output verbose. So now you can see the entire output here on the console at the same time we are testing that result. And of course, I can see that the success rate was 100, meaning that the failed count is zero. I can just do more stuff than this. For example, something really important is ensuring that the request duration is below at least four milliseconds. So something I can do here is type something like this. Um, test result <coughs> duration, uh, sorry, uh, result requests duration medium to be less than uh, four milliseconds, okay? I can clear my terminal, run past, and hopefully the request duration will always stay below or less than four milliseconds. So over time, we can cable the, this kind of stuff into GitHub workflow or even do this after a deployment to really ensure that your uh, local app, local server or even something remotely just always behaves well under extreme conditions. I can just move forward a little bit and, for example, increase the concurrency if I want to. So stress that local domain concurrently with five concurrent requests, for example. I can, I can do that, for example, as well for uh, 10 seconds. And if I run this on the terminal, you can see that we're able to do five concurrent requests for 10 seconds. So everything is highly customizable right there on the stress function, but also via the stress command. And obviously my test suite is passing as expected. So yeah, 
This is the stress list plugin. One more addition to the past PHP family. This goes side by side with performances analysis. We have architectural testing, snapshot testing, so many cool things we have been shipping out past. So I really enjoy, really hope you enjoyed this new feature and thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.